All right, so I'm going to give you a quick uh, overview of my first day at boot camp. So I went to boot camp at uh, Naval Station Great Lakes, Chicago, Illinois. We flew into the airport and we had to kind of um, wait around until everybody from all across the nation that was coming that day uh, convened on the uh, convened on the airport and convened on the one sign. The the guy with the one sign saying Navy recruits, you know, Great Lakes. Um, so by I don't know four o'clock in the afternoon, more or less, everybody had come in that was coming in that day. We got on the bus, rode into the into the naval station. Nobody, I don't think anybody said a peep to anybody else really on that whole bus ride. <laughs> uh, we uh, pulled in up in front of this building, which was the the barracks that we're going to be in, and uh, and it got real. So. Uh, you know, this guy clambers on the bus in uniform. He's like, get out, bring all your stuff. Don't leave anything behind. Form up. So <clears throat> we all, you know, grab our stuff, form up in these single file lines uh, at the door of this uh, barracks. And they let us in. And the, the yell was, uh, find a bunk, drop your stuff, muster back outside. So everybody, you know, files in. We just threw our stuff down, spun around, went back outside. They formed us up and uh, taught us to march, kind of, uh, over to the chow hall, which was like halfway across the base. It seemed like miles, especially when, you know, you're tripping over the next guy's feet in front of you and the guy behind you is tripping over you and trying to learn how to coordinate, you know, a march. It was pretty goofy. Uh, rather intimidating being the only guys in civilian clothes in this sea of, uh, you know, naval recruits, right, at, at boot camp. Uh, people yelling, fresh meat, and all kinds of, you're going to wish you had turned around at the gate, blah, 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 you know, all this, all this stuff. I don't know, man, it was kind of weird. Did our chat, went back to the barracks, and uh, they gave us the, the, um, Smoke them if you got them, you know, basically. Coke and smoke until uh, 8 o'clock, and 8 o'clock was lights out. So this was like the first time anybody really started even talking to each other. Uh, first opportunity we really had to realize, okay, we're all in this together, right? And we were all going to basically be in the same company together. 277, by the way. Anyway, uh... Got to chat, and, and the, the guy that was in the bunk next to me, his name was Jamie, and he was from uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul area, and he and I kind of hit it off. I'll, I'll save his last name in case he's out there watching this, but uh, Jamie was a rocker, and uh, Jamie had a mohawk, you know, completely shaved on the side, and a, and a mohawk about as tall as my hand all the way back. So uh, this comes important here in a second. So Jamie and I are <laughs> convincing about, you know, oh my God, what's this all about? You know, did we do the right thing? Blah, blah, blah. And um, we uh, chat a little bit. Before you know it, you know, the, uh, the chief shows back up and he's like, lights out. So uh, they shut out the lights, you know, they're like, in your racks, lights out, shut out the lights and close the door. Well, just outside of our barracks, literally the barracks was here. There was a fence right outside our window, and then right on the other side of the fence was a uh, was a subway track, a, a above ground section of the Chicago subway. And apparently that train ran every 40 minutes, pretty pretty consistent. So we're all, you know we're all in a brand new bed with uh, 40 of our newest friends. And we've got this train running, you know, do, 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 every 40 minutes. You can imagine how much we slept. So I think I, it seemed like I had just fallen asleep by the time, uh, you know, the, the, the guy walks in with the trash can. And I mean, they actually did the trash can thing on us. Bang, 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 rise and shine. I think it was 4 a.m., 4.30, maybe, something like that. It was still dark, for sure for a long time. So uh, we're all like, you know, jolted awake and jump out of bed. They have us stand at attention and they had us take our blankets off of our bed, lay it out on the floor at the base of our bed, and then put all of our personal possessions that we weren't physically wearing 
on that blanket for inspection and collection. And so uh, <laughs> they're walking around the barracks, and after you know, after I put my stuff out, I'm I'm standing there, and I looked over at at Jamie, and Jamie's blanket had an assortment of hair dryers, uh, hair picks, sprays, and I don't know gels and things all to keep that, keep that mohawk properly tuned. And, um, and nothing really else now that I think about it. And so I'm looking at that like, oh man, you brought the wrong stuff, thinking that I had brought like kind of the right stuff. Anyway, the bottom line is they took everything, but boy, they had a field day with, with Jamie. They're like, look at that. Hey, son, <laughs> you gonna, you gonna use any of that? So anyway, uh, it, maybe it had to be there at the moment, but it was pretty hilarious to uh, to witness what Jamie had brought to boot camp. And needless to say, we didn't see any of that stuff. Uh, they they collected it all up, and we didn't see any of it until uh, the the literal day we left uh, Great Lakes after after boot camp graduation. So there's one for today. Cheers. <laughs>